Cernunos, the Gaelic god of beasts and wild places. Often called the Horned One, Cernunos was a mediator of man and nature, able to tame predator and prey so they might lie down together and live in peace. He remains a mysterious deity with little known of him, as his original mythos has been lost to history. But what do we know about this fascinating horned god? Let's find out together, right now. Little is known of Cernunos, for almost nothing was written about him. He was a god of wild places, and often appeared as a bearded man with antlers. Some scholars believed his name and characteristics originally belonged to a number of horned gods that were then mixed together. Others have suggested his traits were taken from Greco-Roman deities of similar appearance. In any case, it is best to remember that these gods were not necessarily the same entity, but instead emerged from similar cultural origins. Cernunos was a god of the wild who ruled over pristine nature and uncivilized ways. Animals were his subjects, and free-growing fruits and vegetable his bounty. Classical depictions of the deity included gatherings of animals such as elk, wolves, snakes and aurochs. Such gatherings were possible thanks to his ability to bring natural enemies into peaceful communion with one another. This ability may have cast Kenunos as a protector and provider amongst rural tribes and hunters. Similarly, Kenunos may have been a fertility god or god of life. In some classical societies, the natural world was the origin of all life. Under this schema, the god of the wilds would have also served as a god of life, creation and fertility. Kenunos was a particularly mysterious deity. So mysterious, in fact, that his name appears only once in historical sources, on the Pillar of the Boatman. Carved in Paris sometime during the first century, the pillar depicted a number of Roman and Gaelic gods, Kenunos among them. In this depiction, Kenunos' talks hung around his antlers rather than his neck or hands. While it is unknown which tribes might have worshipped Kenunos, it is clear that horned gods were commonly worshipped throughout the Celtic world. Whilst his name was only recorded once, his image is found in many more places. Kenunos was often shown with a purse of coins and a talk, a traditional Celtic necklace that was made of metal. In some depictions he merely holds one, while in others he wears them either on his neck or antlers. Some scholars have connected Kenunos to oak trees, which served as prominent symbols in Celtic lore and druidry. His legend is so prevalent that his name is often given to undefined horned deities in Celtic regions, from Germany to France to Great Britain and even Ireland. The inclusion of coin is interpreted to mean that he was a god of prosperity, whilst the horns have long been a symbol of masculine virility and power. Cernunos's closest analogues in world mythology were Pan and Silvanus from the Greco-Roman world. Pan and Silvanus were horned gods, most commonly depicted with goat-like features, who ruled the wild places of the world. The Greeks and Romans would have closely associated the two. Cernunos was also closely connected to the Germanic Wotan, a variant of the Norse god Odin. Wotan was the leader of the Wild Hunt, a horned god who led spirits on hunts for powerful warriors and the spirits of the dead. Wotan was also closely related to animals and in some cases even served as their lord. It is unclear if these similarities to Cernunos are intentional or simply mere coincidence. A mysterious and fascinating deity from Celtic mythology then, that closely links together a variety of deities from other mythologies, with the key themes of nature and power. So influential a god in fact, that his name is now used in reference to many nameless horned deities from across the globe. Lord of nature and wild places, Kenunos, the horned god. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great stories. Cheers.